landed one black flash, no big deal. What the fuck is going on? Yuji, stop! What the fuck? This actually makes no fucking sense. Nigga, please! Oh my gosh, you can know this game's ass whoop this chapter. Bro was hit with like 50 black flashes and is still going. Game gotta get off dick for real. This truly Sukuna Kaisen. But that don't disregard the fact that Yuji was kicking his ass this chapter. Bro was really giving Sukuna that one, two, fuck you. This chapter starts with Sukuna explaining to Arame that Kenjaku wouldn't give birth to a kid for no reason. And how the kid that he gave birth to had the soul of Sukuna's twin brother. What? What? So you're saying this man? Fucked another guy, carried a baby for nine months, and gave birth all for this plan? This dude, Kenjaku, really dedicated for real. I respect it. He really took the malevolent backshot just for Yuji to be made. You can never catch me sleeping with another guy for anything. Sukuna then says Yuji has the talent potential equal to Sukuna himself? This calling out everyone who ever doubted or doused Yuji. I don't want to even hear you to the main character this, Gojo the main character that. Even though Yuji got pushed aside by Yuta or Gojo in the latest chapter. But that don't matter! This is saying he's on the same level as Sukuna, or can get to the same level as Sukuna. The same guy taking on everyone in JJK and getting head from Gege. Anyway, the chapter continues with Sukuna and Yuji fighting, and Yuji with this tough ass pose bruh. <laughs> Bro looked like he fighting for a spot next to Mei Mei, which I won't really blame bro for being so locked in. I will be too. Yuji then follows with a two-piece combo and hits Sukuna with a we weave to a black flash straight in Sukuna's stomach, mouth, mouth, stomach, stomach for mouth, whatever, and got Sukuna looking like, <laughs> and then I don't really know what happens here, but it ends up with another black flash from Yuji, leaving the two of them midair. Yuji then uses cleave. Finally, this bitch ass gay gay starts blue balling us and gives us this nice Yuji cleavage. It's been so long. Some of y'all start to think gay gay forgot, which is kind of understandable since bro made his way like five years. Yuji's cleave looks like one of those cut yourself pages you get in kindergarten. This really represents Yuji and shows his dumbass. Like, bro can't even count to five with his fingers. How did bro get trusted with the fate of humanity and is fighting the king of curses when he can't even get to third grade? Sukuna then talks about Yuji having two curse techniques, blood manipulation and his version of shrine from Sukuna. Yuji then starts to use his cleave to cut a whole ass pillar and throw it at Sukuna. After, Yuji grabs Sukuna and tries to cleave off his leg, but Sukuna slices Yuji and thinks he can get away from bro. Yuji then uses another black flash but this dude Sukuna is still dissing bro, saying his output of shrine is low. After this, we see a flashback to pre-Gojo and Sukuna fight, and Gojo's talking to uh this guy, the uh the shiesty sorcerer, and the, how he and a bunch of other sorcerers think that he should get Nanami's weapon, and that Nanami would trust bro with it. Afterwards, we get back to the Sukuna and Yuji fight. And we see that the Shiesty Sorcerer pulled up and pulls a whole ass dragon out of him and uses it on Sukuna. This kind of leaves him with Sukuna finding him and Sukuna stepping on his sword. Bro was left in shambles. He knew he was done for and just accepted his fate. Bro was praying someone would save him. And his prayers were answered with this guy Yuji hitting another black flash. Sukuna knew he was about to be hit with a black flash. Just look at his face. He knew he was gonna get cooked. Even Sukuna, Sukuna started to praise bro, saying he could hit black flashes like nothing, and that Yuji is climbing to Sukuna's level. And I just realized, every punch from Yuji is supposed to be breaking the bond between Sukuna and Megami. But this bomb Megami ain't doing nothing. Like I know bro saw his sister die, and I guess he was forced to kill her herself. And he also did that again with his father figure, and is watching himself kill all his friends. And is still in high school. You know, I guess murdering your own family and friends is, is kind of traumatizing. It, it, I think I think bro kind of got a point to be down. I, I don't really blame bro no more. Anyway, 
After Yuji hit that black flash, the Saisuri Sorcerer came out alive, with Sukuna leaving bro on the ground like... Oh, and he had to do me like... Hey, this man ch Hey, this man just... I don't wanna do this no more. After that, Sukuna and Yuji keep fighting, and Yuji grabs Sukuna and throws bro into a wall, leaving Sukuna to say Yuji ain't phased by his attacks, and is just tanking it all? And people still say Sukuna ain't trying. Like, bro, how are you gonna look at this guy's face and tell me that he ain't close to being done? The next panel that follows us is, and I think everyone who was reading and I noticed and knew what was gonna happen next. Yuji hits bro with another black flash, with Sukuna grabbing onto Yuji's face for dear life. Yuji then gets ready for another black flash. This dude, Yuji, really put a switch on that black flash because he really hit them like nothing, bro. He kind of spamming them now. Sukuna then calls bro a fraud and then gets hit straight in the face with Nanami's weapon. <laughs> This Shaishi Sorcerer really has the balls of steel, bro. Cause I don't know how he throwing something at Sukuna. That shit kind of crazy. He kind of left, bro. Like, but even with all this, Yuji is still locked in. Like, bro didn't break for a second. It hit Sukuna straight in the back with another black flash. This dude Sukuna really gotta be nearing this end, bro. Cause after all this, he definitely can't be taking much more. Uh, bro. After I saw this domain, bro. <laughs> I can't, bro. How much more does this guy have in him? Like, bro. <laughs> I know Arame said he ain't go all out yet. But I didn't think he would have this much more in him. Like, this dude, Gege, got him fighting a whole fucking Gojo again. Like, I know Yuta kind of selling right now, but like... How are you gonna fight another Gojo? But like, I don't even know how... Thank you, thank you for watching the whole video. And I love you guys. Even if you did skip to the end. Just kidding, just kidding. I love all of you guys even if you did skip to the end. Anyway, this is my first real video I've posted in a while on YouTube and I'll really appreciate it if you subscribe. I'll be making a lot more content like this with the latest JJK chapters and stuff like that. And maybe I could incorporate like some other movies or shows too. And um, if you like the video, like the video. And if you didn't dislike it or uh, you, you could not do anything, like that would be fine too. Alright, I'll be back in a little bit for the next JJK chapter. See ya.